Brianna Lohr is a junior from Sullivan, Missouri, who came to St. Louis University after a standout academic and athletic high school career. At SLU, Bree continues to thrive as the star pitcher on the Division I team. On the mound, uh, Bree has a definite fire about her. You can see on her very, very best games when she's locked in, you can see it in her eyes. The focus is there. She's very composed. Um, if she's like that, if she can be locked in in that, in that state of mind, she's very, very hard to beat. And it's very, very scary to be against her. <laughs> For Bree, athletics was not something she was forced into, but something she naturally came to love. I just kind of fell in love with it just because I was really, I like to do, I like to play sport, like any kind of sports, and it was just really fun for me, and I just liked to play. It was this type of love for the outdoors and competition that Bree began competing in other sports, and as she watched her two older sisters play softball, she realized that this is what she wanted to do. Uh, we're a really close family. We, we get along pretty well. My mom and dad would take me up to St. Louis, which was like an hour drive, just for practice every week and pitching lessons. So they like really like supported everything that I've done, like even through high school and now, like they still come to a lot of my games and so do my sisters, like when they're in town or when they can. Through years of developing as an athlete, Bree decided to continue playing ball into high school and people started to recognize that she was a special talent that was going to be something great. When I had started high school ball, um, we had two coaches that were pretty young. They were just starting out coaching and like I had really connected with them and they had, were kind of the ones that made me fall in love with softball. I mean, I had loved it before just like playing, but like really gotten into like why I loved playing and in, like the family aspect, aspect of the game. And they like really taught me a lot about how special it is and just like coming out to the field and it's just totally like get your mind off of everything. And they really taught me that and it's really stuck with me until now. It wasn't just the game that Bree loved though. Bree loved her teammates and friends that she got to be around every day. But Bree's best friend was the girl that she could always count on being behind her right shoulder while she was on the mound. We were together every day. We, like you didn't see one of us without the other kind of thing. So it was really special. Um, she was just a really funny person. She was always cracking jokes and she was just somebody that always liked to like pick jokes at other people. And she was just like, she was an awesome athlete. She was so dedicated and so just, into like everything that she did that had to do with softball. She was like, she worked out like all the time, just getting ready for high, or for college ball. She was very, just like dedicated to the game. And I really looked up for, to her for that. Tiana Stockley had also accepted a division one softball scholarship, just like Bree. They were both planning to leave in the fall to play ball for their schools and finally have their dreams come true. But on February 19th, 2013, those dreams came to a screeching halt? Um, well, we had um, been together that night. We were with a bunch of friends and we had gotten into a car accident on the way home and um, she had gotten flown out to the hospital and she didn't make it through the night. It didn't feel right to play without her playing as well. So it kind of, I just didn't feel right about it at first. So it was hard for me to like get ready for softball when I didn't really think it felt right, so it was just really hard for me to get back. After a lot of support from her friends and family, Bree realized that her best friend would not want her to give up everything that they had worked so hard together to achieve. I would think at some times I was just like, well, I can't play without her, but then other times I would think, well, she'd be so mad at me if I wasn't playing. Like, she'd tell me to play, she'd want me to do good and succeed in college, and so that's what kind of drove me to like keep playing and like play for her. When Bree got to SLU, she came in like Tiana would have wanted her to. She was unstoppable. Bree was really good when she got here at SLU already, and then she just kept getting like better and better. Like her freshman year, I mean, freshman and sophomore year, like she basically like put the team on her back. Like she carried us all, and she's not like the most vocal person, but she was definitely like a leader on the team and played a huge role. And I think a lot more people looked to her as a leader than she even realized. But Brie was not about to settle. Coming into her junior year, she appeared to be better than ever. Right now, she currently is the most winning pitcher at SLU, which is crazy that she has already achieved that in her junior season. 
Um, so I'm expecting that record to be very hard to beat um, down the line. But I, I mean, she's, she's up there in a lot of pitching records and I know hitting wise, she's had a lot more success the last couple years. And I'm looking forward to the next, this season and the next season, um, you know, her competing for the player of the year, not just pitcher of the year with her hitting and pitching combined. It's clear that Bree's legacy of excellence on the mound will live on for many years. But what means most to Bree is the type of person she'll be remembered as. So I would definitely say Bree is hardworking and she's absolutely dedicated to our team and uh, absolutely invested as well. Bree's the best pitcher in the A-10 and she deserves all the praise that she gets by everyone because she's just that good and works for everything that she gets. Bree is caring, trustworthy, and a good friend. Um, Bree is a good team leader. She's supportive and she's very funny. She's probably the funniest person that I've ever met. She's like one of the most compassionate people I know. Like she's so kind-hearted and sweet and if she cares about you, like she will bend over backwards and do anything in the world for you. I feel like I would do anything for any of those girls. They mean a lot to me. With her team's full support behind her, there is still one thing that Bree hopes to achieve with her remaining time here at SLU. I mean, I don't really like look into like the records as much as like I guess some people might, but I'm just more like about winning like the A10 championship. I don't, I don't know. I'm there's not many like personal records that I'm like striving to like get. Mm -hmm. The team awards mean a lot more to me than just individual awards, just because I think I try to put the team above myself, and I don't strive just oh I'm gonna get pitcher of the week this week. Like no, it's just like. I'm trying to do the best for the team, and I think that means a lot more to me than an individual award does. I think Bree is a part of a very special team. Um, this is a, a new legacy of SLU softball, and I think the way that the program's headed, if, if we can get to the A-10 championship game and win and get to our first regional, um, she, she'll be remembered as the core of one of the best teams to ever come out of SLU history. And I think that's pretty special, um, you know, being a part of that team. But, but for her to be such a huge part in, in that success, I think she'll, she'll be remembered for a long time. Bree plans on finishing her degree in communication sciences and disorders and wants to be a speech pathologist out of college. One thing is for sure, with anything Bree does, she will do it with her kind heart, fierce determination, and with one very special angel watching over her.